Hi, this is Jessica Namasa with WTF Health. I am here at Upgraded Life Festival in beautiful Helsinki, Finland. And joining me right now, I have Christina Tolvanen. Um, she is with a company called Nightingale Health. They are a Finnish startup and they have developed a better blood test. So what makes this blood test so much better than what's already on the market? Yeah, so like you said, we've developed a better blood test. What does it, what does it mean? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, we're looking at one of the biggest uh, global health issues, which is, which is chronic diseases, and more specifically diabetes and uh, cardiovascular disease. So what we've actually developed, if you compare our test to the current cholesterol test that is used to diagnose uh, cardiovascular disease, uh, so what we've done, um, we can actually, with one blood sample, we can get more biomarkers than compared to the traditional test okay. and with those biomarkers we can better predict the onset of these diseases so that's so what tell me doing. how many more because that's the thing that's really impressive about your solution so it's not just like a few more how many more different biomarkers can you provide uh, we actually provide over 200 biomarkers so it's 50 times more data than the current cholesterol 50 testing. times yes yeah. yeah and we can do it with the same price level so that's the innov innovative factor of our test as well and so what's what are some of these other biomarkers that you're adding Adding to the test results that are not there before like why more more so what why do they matter like what is a clinician who's looking at these results able to discern from this additional information that they can't get now yeah so for example we provide apolipoproteins that give better prediction so that's one thing but then there's also other biomarkers let's say amino acids that we provide that are uh, that you cannot get with the current cholesterol test uh, but yeah there's a wide range of biomarkers and, and at this mo at this point we don't even know what uh, what other things we can find with those biomarkers so that's very exciting as well so right. there's a lot lot more that we don't know at this point but we but we're uh, working a lot at this point with research institutions and universities to kind of broaden the range of what we can actually do with the blood test in 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 clinics in the future that's cool can you talk a little bit about some of the things that you're looking into and who you're working with uh, yeah so uh, we're uh, basically working with all the leading uh, universities uh, worldwide so, for example, we have uh, franchising laboratories in the UK in the University of Oxford and University of Bristol and we're conducting uh, large metabolic profiling projects all over the world. Um, and for example, we actually just um, announced an initiative to analyze 40,000 uh, blood samples from the THL Biobank here in Finland. Cool. So then again, generating more scientific evidence base for how we can actually use this technology in the clinics in the future. And how much better are these biomarkers at predicting who's going to get a cardiovascular disease? And then what kinds of like um, interventions can be staged? And the opportunity there is tremendous. Yeah, the opportunity definitely is tremendous. Uh, tremendous and it's when it, it of course differs when you're looking at different sure. disease areas uh, but already we know we're strongest at this point with uh, di diabetes and cardiovascular disease and we can say that we can actually get 20 20 percent better prediction at this point but as, as I said we're still building a lot of uh, the evidence sure. base and kind of working with uh, research institutions and universities, but also piloting in healthcare already here in Finland. Uh, so we're actually getting the first uh, the first patients are actually getting access to the test already here. That's so exciting. I know there's been a lot of buzz about Nightingale Health here at this conference, so it's exciting to talk to you. So what's next for the company? Like, where are you guys at? Give us a sense of, from a business standpoint, are you raising money? Are you looking to scale? What markets are you in? Give us a little update on where you're at. Yeah, so today we've actually gathered uh, 30 million dollars approximately for to to expand, uh, but it's going to happen here in Finland, but especially abroad. So we're going to open laboratories both in the U.S. and also in the Asian market. Sure. So very exciting times. Uh, so we're building the ev evidence base together with the research institution and universities, piloting and expanding in healthcare, and ultimately bringing more uh, better prevention for these diseases all over the world. That's, that's fantastic. No, yeah. that's so fantastic. And these are such common diseases that you're helping yes. to kind of in, like interject a, an opportunity to get care early on and kind of reverse the course of. So this is so exciting. It's wonderful to speak with you. Best of luck in everything. Um, I'm Jessica Damasa, Nightingale Health. Everybody remember that name. It's the next big thing. Um, I'm here with, for WTF Health at Upgraded Life Festival in Helsinki. Thanks for joining us.